Cliff yeah. in Hoddesdon into the conversation. Um, now, Cliff is somebody that I talked to on a Friday night. I think it was at the end of March, and he phoned in. I was sitting in for Andrew Pierce, and he phoned in, and his call, I think, had such an impact on the audience that was listening. And then we spoke to him a couple of times afterwards. Um, and he phoned in because his mother had died two hours earlier of COVID. And Cliff, um, it's, Cliff, it's really good to speak to you again. Um, just rehearse for my listeners now um, that that night and why you phoned in and what happened over the subsequent couple of weeks. Um, I was just listening to the radio and um, didn't didn't really know what had happened. I knew what happened, but couldn't say again. Um, felt lost, felt alone, felt let down by, um, don't get me wrong, not the NHS as the people, but the way we were dealt with, I patiently left at home to die. Um, my mum and, and me at the time, being ill at the time with it. And uh, even still now, it's, uh, you can't, I can't grieve, I can't, because I'm, I'm, I'm still not sure in my head kind of what's gone on. So this is what four or five months later, and you're you're still struggling to cope with it. I'm 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 struggling to accept it. Um, don't get me wrong, uh, you know, uh, uh, when you lose your mother, it's 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 bad, it's terrible, and if it's through an illness, it's it's it's, it's still devastating from any way. But there's so many questions still left un- unanswered for me. You know why why did three ambulances come and? And not take her in when we could clearly see she she was having it. I mean, I just felt that we, that they were shielding the NHS. Um, I've got no anos- animosity against anyone working in the NHS. That's why I, mean, I, I love you. Thank you for everything you do, putting your lives at risk for us. But I just feel that the government and everyone was just so scared of what's happening. Maybe wasn't being honest about not knowing what's going on. Let's be honest to the public, uh, Mr. Johnson and. And, and governments, just be honest and tell us because, you know, we're still lost, I'm still lost, I'm still upset. Uh, uh, you know, I just, uh, I, we, I, I want answers, but I also want honesty. And, mm. and I think that's that's the thing that I'm struggling with, that all the rule changes now, like that my daughter's going back to school next, next, this, next week, my other daughter's going to university, and we're still getting things that governments are changing and saying, well, this is going to happen. The schools are giving us emails saying, we don't know what's going on. Just, uh, how are we going to, how are we going to deal with this? You know, it's just, well, yeah, it's horrible. I it just can't, Let- can't get on with family life. You know, it's hard. It's, it's- right. I, I want Leanna to talk to you directly, Cliff, because I, I suspect that Cliff, what Cliff has said there is not the first time you've heard this sort of thing. Absolutely Leanna. How, not. how can Cliff get through this oh my gosh, and grieve properly? Cliff, it's so, so difficult because it's almost like the the cause of death of COVID has hijacked the whole relationship we've had. It's hijacked everything, our experiences that we've shared, and it becomes about COVID and, and we're actually losing sight of the of the whole life that we've shared with this person because of the circumstances surrounding the death. And it is very, very difficult because we are in very, very uncharted territory and it's very, very unknown and the directives are very fluid. There is no blanket directive and because we don't know from one day to the next what we're doing and what's happening, we cannot sit there in honesty with our grief and it has been really, really difficult apart from the fact that we don't have our usual support networks, we don't have that usual scaffolding, we, and the, the social distancing, and it's this backing off that is so, so difficult. And because people think, well, I have to back off, they don't actually verbalise it properly, and perhaps if they don't even know why they're actually doing it. And I think it's plunged us all into this awful, awful situation. But if I can say to you, Cliff, I would really, really love to think of you thinking about your relationship with your mum and what you've shared with her rather than focusing on this ending because you I, will get stuck in this ending at this time and I would like to talk to you further about this. 